Hey everyone, uh, I've gotten a request to make a tutorial on square one. Uh, this tutorial, which I'm making right now, will teach you how to solve the square one. I will try to teach it without making this video super long, since no one wants to watch a really long video. So let's just jump right in. Hold the square one such that the two faces with the star shapes are on the top and the bottom. The front face should look something like this. Hold it such that the smaller rectangle in the middle layer is at the left. Your square one will most likely have yellow on top, although my main square one has black on top. The notation is as follows. A forward slash means to make a 180 degree rotation of the right portion of the square one, like so. A pair of numbers represented by a coordinate pair signifies the number of units to turn the top and bottom faces. A positive number meaning clockwise and a negative number meaning counterclockwise. Each edge is worth one unit and each corner is worth two. I'll give you a few examples so you get the hang of this. One comma negative one slash means to turn the top face one unit clockwise the bottom face one unit counterclockwise and do a forward slash. Slash three comma zero slash one comma zero slash means to do a forward slash, turn the top face three units, do a forward slash, turn the top face one unit, and do a forward slash. Although the notation can be a bit confusing, you will get the hang of it eventually. There are five basic steps to solve the square one. Cube shape, corner orientation, edge orientation, corner permutation and edge permutation. There are many approaches to cube shape, however, I will show you the base, very basic method here. This method involves placing all eight edges of the square one in the top face, all next to each other, in this fashion. The first thing you should do to achieve this is to get six edges next to each other on the top face. This involves some experimentation and some planning, so I won't go into that here. You could usually scramble a square one and figure it out. However, sometimes you'll get five edges next to each other. Again, you'll have to experiment with this. When this happens, um, you usually have to break off one of these edges. You have to break this off to get six edges eventually. Once you have six edges next to each other, there are three cases on the bottom face to get eight edges next to each other. A line, like this, a pair, or an L shape. The line is very, the line and the pair very easy, are very easy to deal with. Just bring them up to the top face. However, an L requires more manipulation. Placing the L in the top right portion of the bottom face, break off two edges from the six, six bundle of edges. Do a three, negative two, slash, zero, comma two, slash, and now you have your eight edges. To turn the square one back into a cube, split these eight edges in half, like so. 
to form four edges on each face. Line these four edges up and split them in half again. Hold the resulting shape like so and split them in half. And finally, line these shapes up to turn the square one back into a cube. If you already have experience with solving other cubes, corner orientation shouldn't be a very hard step. First, place a yellow corner that is in the top face to the top left of the top face. Then find the yellow corner on the bottom face and put it in the top right of the bottom face and bring it up. You should now have two adjacent yellow corners on the top face. There are now two cases, this with two adjacent corners of the bottom and this when there are two yellow corners on the bottom but they are not adjacent. The first case is pretty much self-explanatory. Just bring it up. In the second case, bring one of the corners up, then the other corner, move it into place, right here, then bring this corner back down, and then you should have the first case again. Edge orientation requires one algorithm. This algorithm will theoretically swap this edge, the top right edge, and the bottom back edge. 1, 0, slash, 3, 0, slash, 3, 0, slash, negative 1, comma, negative 1, slash, negative 2, comma, 1, slash, negative 3, comma, 0, slash. Using this algorithm, we can solve any edge orientation case on the square one. Corner permutation requires two algorithms. This algorithm will swap these two adjacent corners as well as do something else to the cube. Slash 3, negative 3, slash 3, slash negative 3, comma 0, slash 3, comma 0, slash negative 3, comma 0, slash 0, comma 3. The top layer might also need corner switching, so we need an algorithm that switches these two layers. Slash, 6, 6, slash. Those will, that will switch the two layers, and you can now perform the previous algorithm on these two corners. Edge permutation requires two algorithms. The first one will swap the back right edges on both the layers. Negative two comma zero slash three comma zero slash negative one comma negative one slash negative two one slash. Edge permutation usually requires a little bit of thinking. You usually want to swap edges that need the opposite face edge, like this one and this.
Sometimes at the finishing, the middle layer will look like this. This is an easy fix. Slash, six, slash, six, slash, six. If you need to switch the layers, do, the, do so with the algorithm that I showed during corner permutation. Unfortunately, the square one does require a parity algorithm. This algorithm will swap the two front right edges, as well as swapping the middle layer. And the algorithm is very long. Slash, negative 3, slash, 3, slash, negative 3, slash, 3, slash, 2, slash, comma 2, slash, negative 2, slash, 4, slash, comma negative 2, slash, comma 2, slash, negative 1, comma 4, slash comma negative three slash comma three although this is a long algorithm I'll give you a little tip to memorize it first the fourth the first four coordinates have zeros as well as threes only the next six will only have multiples of two as well as zeros Then there's a negative one four. And then the last two coordinates have only threes and zeros. I will now go through a quick walkthrough solve with this method. So first we need to get six edges next to each other. So I see this block of three. And I also see this. So I combine that with the line and then to form a 4 and I'll combine it with a 2. And now since I have a pair like this, I could just bring it up to form 8 edges. And then split it in half, split in half again, and then line them up. Next is corner orientation. So I choose a yellow corner, put it in the top left, then choose a yellow corner again, put it in the top right, like so. I'll bring it up and make sure you have this aligned. And then I have this case, which then I'll just bring this up. Next is edge orientation. Um, this one, I'll swap these two with the algorithm. Swap these two. All right next is corner permutation. On the bottom face, there's no corners per to permute since they're all good. But then the top face, you need to permute these two corners. So we will swap the layers with slash six six. And then we'll do the algorithm. And then I like to swap the layers again. All right, we have an adjacent down here. So I like to just swap those two. And then here we have a U perm. This can just be done with two of those. And there we solve it. That pretty much wraps up the method used to solve a square one. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment or send me a private message. I might also come out with other videos about getting faster at Square One on this channel. And there are also other Square One tips videos you can search up. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.